I believe that consciousness is a fundamental and elementary property of living matter. It can't be derived from anything else. It is a simple substance in Leibniz's words. My reasoning is analogous to the arguments made by savants studying electrical charge. Charge is not an emergent property of living things, as originally thought when electricity was discovered in the twitching muscles of frogs. There are no uncharged particles that in the aggregate produce an electrical charge. An electron has one negative charge, and a proton, a hydrogen ion, has one positive charge. The total charge associated with a molecule or ion is simply the sum of all the charges of the individual electrons and protons, no matter what their relationship is to each other. As far as chemistry and biology are concerned, charge is an intrinsic property of these particles. Electrical charge does not emerge from matter. And so it is with consciousness. Consciousness comes with organized chunks of matter. It is imminent in the organization of the system. It is a property of complex entities and cannot be further reduced to the action of more elementary properties. We've arrived at the ground floor of reductionism. You and I find ourselves in a cosmos in which any and all systems of interacting parts possess some measure of sentience. The larger and more highly networked the system, the greater the degrees of consciousness. Human consciousness is much more rarefied than canine consciousness because the human brain has 20 times more neurons than the brain of a dog and is more heavily networked. Functionalism applied to consciousness means that any system whose internal structure is functionally equivalent to that of the human brain possesses the same mind. If every axon, synapse, and nerve cell in my brain were replaced with wires, transistors, and electronic circuitry performing exactly the same function, my mind would remain the same. The electronic version of my brain might be clunkier and bigger but provided that each neuronal component had a faithful silicon replacement, consciousness would remain. It is not the nature of the stuff that the brain is made of that matters for mind. It is rather the organization of that stuff, the way the parts of the system are hooked up, their causal interactions. A fancier way of stating this is consciousness is substrate independent. Functionalism serves biologists and engineers well when figuring out and mimicking nature. So why should we abrogate it when it comes to consciousness?